each year we get a new group of sixth graders who need to be reminded, don't give in to peer pressure, tobacco is harmful, and the shirt that they finish with at the end when they receive their shirt is a visible reminder of the commitment each of them has made to be tobacco free. So I think it's really cool that uh, Tobacco Free Hokie is huge across Virginia Tech's campus, but I've been really excited to get involved with bringing this to middle schools. We bring the program back each year, as I said before, because students are excited to be taught in PE classes by Tech students for a day. But uh, eradicating tobacco use in schools isn't a, a one-stop event. They think, wow, these people think it's, you know, it's good not to do tobacco. It's, it's not cool. And of course the t-shirts are a biggie. They love the thoughts of getting a new t-shirt. Signing the pledge, I think they enjoy doing that and thinking that, you know, I'm doing this for real. I'm doing this forever. I'm not, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna sign it, and I'm never gonna do tobacco at all. We'll see the shirts um, in seventh grade and even in eighth grade. When children change and everything's not so cool, we'll still see the tobacco-free shirts all the way through eighth grade. But I think purposeful efforts such as the tobacco-free program have over the years led to a, a big drop in the amount of tobacco use we see in the middle school. We haven't totally stomped it out, but it's just a very seldom seen behavior now as compared to, a, say, 12 or 14 years ago. Uh, I think it's a recurring effort that's needed. It's not just a one-time thing, uh, but I think it works. With the t-shirts, um, they see us wear our t-shirts. Uh, that says tobacco-free Hokies and they ask us where do you get those and we always tell them that as a sixth grader that's one of the things that we do in our program is that we have tech students come and they do a tobacco-free program and if they pledge that they'll never use tobacco they will get a free teacher. After um, you all left that one day I had several students that were Oh my goodness, Ms. Wright, did you know all that stuff was in the cigarettes and in the tobacco? And I said, yeah, it's, it's very um, interesting, all the different things that they put in it. And they, they were like, why? Why do they put stuff like that in there? Why do they want us to smoke? And, and I said, now you tell me, why do you think they want you to smoke? And they said, it sounds like it's all about money. And I said, you got it. It's all about money. I think it's important to continue the program because I've seen elderly relatives die of horrible deaths of cancer. Um, we don't want that for any youngster. They don't realize at age 12 or 11 or 13 that it can happen to them. They tend to have that fighter pilot mentality that it, it won't strike me. We have to gently show them that this can happen to you and it all starts with that first wad of smokeless tobacco or a cigarette and then you're hooked on the nicotine. We have to educate them and it doesn't happen by accident. It's got to be something thoughtful uh, purposefully done. It's engaging. Okay, so for this one, please cross the line if you know someone who uses tobacco. I just found some cigarettes out. I was thinking maybe we could try them out. You know? No, man. I heard smoking messes up your lungs. I want to be able to run fast and make a team. I, I can't speak highly of it enough. It's amazing. It's interactive. It's informative. And it's definitely something that we need to continue.